Good evening, everybody. I'm Nostalgic Goggles for three. Uh, welcome to tonight's stream, game six of our 95-96 Toronto Raptors inaugural season. So let's, without further ado, let's get right into it. So Raptors are five and zero about to see here. Top of the Central Division. You can see uh, Nick 6-0. We're still not top of the conference. Only half a game back there. And then Golden State and Utah still undefeated. Uh, that could be interesting because we actually are playing Utah uh, tomorrow night. So we will see if they're still undefeated going into that game. But tonight's opponent is the Charlotte Hornets who are and anemic one in five. Um, they didn't have a great year this year in real life. Just barely missing the playoffs, but not not nearly that bad. Interesting to see here. Do we need to watch out for? Um, so you can see two of our players leading the league in points per game at the moment. A lot of our guys shooting really well. Not as well as Chris Gatlin. You know, can't win them all. Three point percentage. Uh, if, oh, got a guy named Curry. Uh, in the league leaders for three point percentage. Go figure. Also, way more attempts than almost anybody else who's not on my team. So maybe the AI will actually shoot some threes for a change. Is that the only leaderboard they are on? that way. I don't know, Muggsy Bogues, 53 assists. That is actually a good point. I should probably let him start. So when I was setting up the uh, the rosters originally for this, uh, in the season in real life, Muggsy Bogues missed almost the entire year for injuries, but decided early on, especially since DA is going to play everybody no matter what, that we'll just honor the in-game injuries rather than things. So, as a result, we'll let Muggsy start. Let's see here's the rest of their lineup. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna throw Del Curry in the starting lineup too. It's a little late historical, but why not? I'm from the future. I expect great things from Wardell, Stephen Curry. Yeah, that's something I didn't know until recently. Maybe you all didn't know either that uh, Steph is actually a junior. Captain is uh, Bell's middle name as well. Well, let's get into it. So, before we get started, um, I do want to mention that. Um, as always, we want to uh, give something back, so 10% uh, of any proceeds from tonight's stream go to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Uh, they're a world-class researcher in terms of um, eye diseases, especially pediatric eye diseases and uh, macular degeneration. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, God was wearing, uh, a gentleman like myself can appreciate. And what's up, Mr. Peter? Do this. I agree. Anyway, please uh, support them if you feel so inclined, uh, either uh, indirectly through me or there's a direct link in my Twitch profile. Donate. The Charlotte Coliseum. The original Hornets before they traded their entire team to New Orleans and left the league for a few years or whatever that happened. I don't know. It's weird when they mess with history like that in sports. I understand why. Oh, I forgot to change my starting lineup again. Darn. Knew I forgot something. Here I am talking about the Retina Foundation. I'm forgetting about basketball. I am indeed only rated at one star. It's true. That's wrong. So we got Muggsy Bones, 5 foot screen to call. Number 30, Curry. Seen a lot of him. Del Curry. Stephen Seth's father. Uh, Glenn Rice, this is his first year with Charlotte. This is the early Alonzo morning trade. 
Larry Johnson, and then Robert Parrish, all-time great Celtic. I think he's in the uh, Hall of Fame. Not, he should be. Oh, we're still on the not player lock. So first of all, I'm, let's pretend that we actually had uh, the preferred starting lineup in. Sorry, Trevor. I keep meaning to start him, and I always forget every time that's going to happen. So we ran some analytics. Um, if you're interested, there's a post on my uh, Patreon. All, all my Patreon content is free, by the way. I'm just using that as my blog of sorts. The, the, long -term stuff. the only thing um, that's paid for only is the polls that have been put on the, on the season. So you can anyway, anytime I do some analytics, I put some information up there. And um, what I found is that um, Dale Ellis does so much better as a shooting guard than a small forward, as does Tracy Murray. And since they also happen to be my two best three-point shooters, I'm going to position lock at that position. Uh, Ed Pinkney, the game says he's a small forward. He plays a lot of power forward in his career, and he's done so much better at power forward. And then Oliver Miller will stay as our starting center. That's our starting lineup. I'm going to have to turn player lock off for a minute so I can get the ball to Murray and then turn it back on because, you know, it is 1995 and all. Can't expect too much. I remind my guys to actually play defense just like every game. That's my free game talk. Guys, play defense. Hate to burn a timeout. It hasn't been that much of a problem thus far. All right, bear with me here while we get the player lock situated. Please enjoy these beats. All right. Let's get this game started. Set a pick. And three! crowd is silenced. All right. Nice stuff. But, oh, my goodness. Ed Pinkney. Gonna have to take back all those nice things I said about him. Oh, Muggsy. Ah! Ran right out of bounds. So, what's interesting is the uh, the call for pass uh, animation is something apparently you can't break out of it. So if you've got any momentum heading for half court or something like that, then you'll just do what I did. Ran right back. Muggsy Bones with all of Charlotte's points so far. Oof. Ill-advised. Glenn Rice, of course, another elite three-point shooter in real life. Oh, no. Three. Well, if you're going to leave me wide open, I will take the three and I will silence the crowd again. Six games in, I'm still not sure if that is a bug or if that is meant to happen. It's a great thing about these old games. You, know, you just don't know. Oof. Ugly. Dortmund, what's up? 
is there room for a modern Muggsy Bogues in today's NBA? Well, I mean, I would argue that Isaiah Thomas is kind of filling that role, right? He is, I believe, the only player above 183 centimeters in height um, to have made an all-star team. Although he's not the same kind of player Muggsy is. I mean, Muggsy was definitely a pass-first kind of point guard. And there he is with the goaltend. Muggsy Bogues, pass-first point guard, elite shot blocker. Come on, probably shouldn't have left him wide open. That's all right. We will answer. No, we won't. Building a house with all these bricks. Still haven't figured out how to defend the hook shot. 85% from the field. I guess I didn't remind the guys to play defense hard enough. Del Curry. Probably should not shoot when Robert Parrish is switched guarding me. He's an even more elite shot blocker than Muggsy Bogues. Well, is killing us with the hook shot. Come on, guys. Can't block Muggsy Bogues. So for those who missed yesterday, um, the button to make the AI shoot is the same button that makes uh, my player jump up and down like an idiot when player lock is on. So uh, you'll be seeing seeing a lot of that. Now we're gonna line change. As a result of moving people out of positions, I no longer have a backup three, so uh, Jimmy King gets the honors. Carlos Rogers in. And uh, Benjamin is getting another uh, NPCD. He had another pretty poor game um, yesterday against Phoenix. Um, and he wants a trade as well. So if you're uh, interested in helping me decide uh, where we send him off to, um, become a patron. There's a poll up on my Patreon. Right. Let's get back in this game. Get in there. Ah. They're not off to a great start here. I really like to defend the lane, but I don't really think I want to leave Glen Rice wide open on the perimeter. Doesn't seem like a good choice. Get in there. Nope. So a player like Dynamic has really changed the game. I think for the better overall. Although one of the things that has been a bit interesting is that, oh, well for one thing when you like I said the me jumping up and down button is the same as the AI shoot button. So therefore if I'm going up for a rebound and someone on my team gets it a little sooner than I thought, sometimes that happens. Anyway, what I was going to say is that uh, without player lock on, we scored a lot of our points on the fast break, and now our uh, players have kind of been the kings of the slow break. What is happening? I don't know, man. Nothing good. Home court advantage? It's all right. We'll get it back. 
three. Hook shot. Three. There it is. I did make him do that. Making it rain. Ooh. I don't think so, Kendall Gill. Nice. Boom shock a layup. All right. Now we're only down by my favorite number. I don't call me nostalgia goggles for three for nothing. Three. three. What a run. Thank you. So that other lineup, one of the things that I found really fascinating going through and like compiling the plus minus stats for everybody is how much of a difference the lineups actually do make. Three. Damon Stoudemire. Our first lead since we were up 3 nothing, I think. And that basket uh, brought to you by uh, Spitz the Great. Uh, bought me that bucket just when I needed it the most. Patron on the buy a bucket level. Thank you, Spitz the Great. Oof. What is this, like an 18-6 run? I think so. Something like that. But that's how it is. Like, as I've looked through the lineups, like, we'll be down by a lot, and then I'll change the lineup, and we'll go up by a lot, and then I'll change the lineup again, and it'll just erode. But uh, Benjamin, in particular, has been a black hole. But uh, Stoudemire has been all over the place. He, he had our, our worst plus minus last game at uh, minus 12, but he's also been a plus 26 other games. Really streaky, but, uh, you know, he's uh, earning, the, earning the jersey for night. The big problem is I'm shooting 63% from the field. You can't keep that up. You can't keep allowing that to happen. Full line change for them. They had Kendall Gill running the point, huh? Look at this. Dale Ellis, not even tired. 35 years old. Man just keeps going. That was my starting lineup, but with Ellis instead of uh, Murray. And that might be all it takes. Obviously, my starting lineup didn't do so hot, but. Oh, the hook. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Push him out of bounds. Nope. Nice. Now, this time, don't run out of bounds. Woo! All right, I will let you celebrate that one. We won't mention that hook shot. I played before. I don't think the real Raptors saw gems like that until uh, a couple years later. Three! Trevor Ruffin. 
What a spin, indeed. Air Canada. Before Vinzan had even made it up. Was that supposed to go to? I'm sorry, Delos. You cannot throw the ball directly out of bounds and stay in the game. What kind of example would that set for the rest of the team? It's supposed to be our veteran leadership. Throwing passes like that. Oh well. Now I get to enjoy these beeps. That was not the button I wanted to press. Now we get to enjoy these beats again. I know when I play sports games and my players screw up badly like that, I threaten to cut them. <laughs> yeah, I sort of wish there was a free agent pool in uh, this game. It'd be kind of an idle threat. I could trade them, I suppose, which is most definitely happening to uh, fight new. So, because then stuff like that happens, and I think that the sound thing must be a bug. Woo! Tracy Murray, he had. Uh, 63 points last night against the Suns. Right. Oh, damn it, take it up. Three. Tracy Murray. 95 three-point rating. Highest in the entire game. Real-life Raptor. He was on the inaugural roster for the first season. Uh, left as a free agent. Came back. Was part of their uh, Vince Carter-led playoff squads in the early aughts. Three. Didn't take this many shots, though. Oh! Man, Muggsy has just been lighting us up. Three. Fortunately, I have been lighting them up. My baskets are worth more. I'm amazed that uh, nobody in the league has caught on to the strategy yet. You know, we're 5-0. Best start ever for an expansion team. I keep meaning... Not a good pass. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's not very nice. Not very nice at all. Tell people get injured. Ugh. Flagrant. I actually did get a flagrant last night. I am uh, embarrassed to say, in a very similar situation, uh, injured a guy, Wesley Person. He's okay. He finished the game. And Dell Ellis just does not get tired. I leave Murray in though. He's shooting well. Not that I have any idea if that means anything in this game. Grandma Ma up the line. Alright. 
can give it to me, I'll take it. Oh no. So what's interesting is I, I learned some bad habits in the early games. Uh, a lot of the teams we played early on, uh, they wouldn't, their perimeter guys wouldn't uh, shoot in the perimeter. Three. Trevor Ruffin, the only other player besides Tracy Murray to score in double digits uh, last game. In other words, the only player who was not me to score in double digits. Oh, you gotta drive that. No, that's probably not a good idea. Triple teamed. That makes sense. I wonder how many Murray has at this point. Yeah. It's alright, we'll get it back. There we go. So something about that first lineup just did not work. Whoa. Three! I think I was on the line, but that's okay. Ref didn't see it. Oh, I take that all the way. Whoa! Jimmy King. Pixels are too blurry for the refs to see. It could well be. Maybe they need some goggles. Murray's still hitting him, it's almost half time. We'll let him stay. Can't take Jimmy King out after that dunk. You can finish the half. So as you can see, the uh, eight-minute quarters are producing much more realistic scores. Uh, really, all of the setting changes that we've made have been positive ones, I think. Even though I was skeptical about some of them. I wasn't sure how the player lock was going to go. I'd be interested to know if there's some probability of missed calls worked into these games. There definitely is, because... Oh, hey! Computer took and made a three. Almost never happens. Oof. I missed one. Um, yes, because there is that shove button. And I have actually knocked people over and taken the ball away and not gotten a foul called on me before. So it does happen. Oh, AC Earl. Bucket. Another real-life member of this squad. Having, depending on what we end up... Depending on what we end up doing with uh, Benjamin, I might move up. At, during the offseason, after the season, they uh, traded him to Milwaukee for uh, Sean Resper, who uh, has an outstanding three-point rating. It's as good as Dale Ellis's. All right, that's enough for you. Oof. Brutal. Nice. All right, we're going to take that all the way in. Smooth finish. Tracy Murray shooting over 50% from the field. Many of those are from three. So. There we go. I said I don't get assists. Ooh, I'm on fire. Is it the shoes? 
Nice. Take that in. All right. It's open for a dunk. We'll make that work. Whoa. Del Curry. I think uh, Steph and Seth practiced those shots growing up, probably. We got 6651 at the half. Tracy Murray, 29 already. Muggsy with 14, three assists. Three steals for Murray. That one assist, which you just saw a couple minutes ago. A couple seconds ago, really, in game. Let's see what else we got. Field goal for Sanji evening out. Both of us still shooting really well. 50% from three for us. I'll take that. Let's see. We're out rebounding. Field goal percentages. I know. It's pretty wild. Only six assists. They're actually matching us block for block, although a lot of that was my ill advised shots early on. But 15 steals, first half. Not too bad at all. Trivia quiz. In which year did the Hawks win their only championship? Hmm. 71? I'm going to say 71. You guys can feel free to let me know. Internet if you want. Um, but during halftime, I do want to uh, have a huge thanks to uh, our patrons, uh, Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, and uh, Spitz the Great. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, you guys are helping to make this possible. Um, streaming's a relatively cheap hobby compared to some, but a uh, relatively expensive hobby compared to others. So I definitely appreciate your support. Helps me keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, these guys pick their own superlatives, and uh, you can too. If you want to go to my Patreon, uh, hello, become a patron. Um, you can pick your own superlative, or I'll pick it for you, if you don't have one. And 10% uh, of any proceeds from tonight's stream go to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest, uh, doing pioneering research on uh, both uh, pediatric and geriatric uh, eye diseases. Uh, support them. There's also a direct link to support them in my profile. All right, Murray's still hot, probably recharged, so he stays in. Ah, you know what? Let's leave. We had a solid close to the half. Everybody's rested. Let's do it. Curry for three. No. Oh, boy. Larry Johnson. I'm no longer hot. Three. Three. 1958. Was it that long ago? Or is that a guess? St. Louis Hawks. Three. Oof. Oh, no. That was not the button I wanted to press. Whoa, do you see that? Del Curry, thugging it up. Oof, get back. Man, I don't know what their coach told them at halftime, but it worked. Founded in 1946 as the Buffalo Bisons, is that right? I knew the uh, Clippers came from Buffalo, I forgot the Hawks did too. So Buffalo had two teams. No, that was behind the basket, Damon. Why would you drive in the lane if you didn't intend to shoot? I don't understand. Buffalo just can't hold on to an NBA team. That's for sure. No. No 
Well, Jimmy King, you do not shoot the three. I shoot the three. Not just, there's some AI I'll let Jimmy King is not one of them. It's a Curry three right there. Yeah. Catch and release, man. Catch and release. Oh! Robert Parrish. Showing him how it's done. Oof. Ugh. Oh, wrong button. No, not wrong button. Why did he pass back to me? I mean, you saw me jumping up and down like an idiot. It's the universe is signed for AI shoot the ball. Even Larry Johnson's somewhat of a perimeter threat. This game, he was a decent outside shooter, especially for a big guy. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Just drive! days. Muggsy Bogues just running in, knocking a guy down. Now Muggsy Bogues comes at you. You just can't stop him. Like Charles Barkley or something. Now Muggsy Bogues is awesome. Uh, like a uh, most short people my age, I really looked up to him. I read his book, um, hoping to get some secrets to becoming a professional basketball player. Turns out I just needed to wait for Twitch to be invented. Seems like a nice enough dude. I guess he's still really active in the Charlotte community, with like youth programs and stuff. That was too far away. 1995 just isn't ready for a shot from that far away. They're ready for a shot from that far away, though. All right. Kind of a weird angle there, but that's all right. Shove him out of bounds strategy. Works every time. How are we doing? It's all good. As we just did this. So we'll be alright. Whatever uh, inspirational speech their coach gave him at halftime seems to have worn off. So. A little weird to call that an assist. Although assist calculations have always kind of flummoxed me. Like, 
at what point is like how many dribbles you have to take before it's not an assist anymore. I mean, a lot of plays start with a pass, right? Te technically, every time the possession team starts with a pass because there's the inbound. I don't know. Either way, I'm not going to leave Del Curry open on the perimeter. Nope. I will just let him drive past me instead. That's better. Much better. Still too far away. Now I'm guarding Robert Parrish, because that makes sense. Get out of there. Slow break. Hit Pinkney, I think, might be leading the team in uh, slow break. Assists. Ball hog. Hey man, you've seen what happens when I pass it. <laughs> pass the ball mellow. Wow. Alright, you know what? See? See what happens when I pass it? You lose the ball and Kendall Gill dunks on my head. You want Kendall Gill to dunk on my head? Is that what you want? Just shoot it, Ruffin. That would have been nice if it had gone in. That's up for 11, but we were, I think we were up 11 at the end of the third. It's Phoenix, too. Can't get complacent. See if you're right, Dortmunder. You did it. There you go. You know stuff. It's Wikipedia, yeah. Coming from the future definitely makes uh, trivia stuff like that easier to manage. Put in Tony Massenberg. Why not? Give him a shot. Oof. Dangerous. All movement is key. Oh, nope. Ah. Four for seven field goals. I think all of his attempts were right there. Three. Three. Dude, what's wrong, Spitz the greatest? What do we got? It's not the right button.
Yeah. He got blocked, missed a shot, got the rebound, made the third shot. Get in there. He's zero. Very nice. Yeah, well. I mean, he is Larry Johnson in my defense. There we go. Oof. Bad pass. It's interesting that it'll let me substitute even though the ball is clearly in bounds. And Stoudemire just must be worn out. Hasn't been in that long. Put Miller back in. Uh, hmm. Now nah, someone's gonna stay in. Get past him. Shoot the ball. There it is. Tony Massenberg. And uh, that bucket was bought for us by Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. Thank you, Mr. Troy. Uh, if you too would like to uh, buy a bucket, you can check out my Patreon. And if not, just uh, enjoy the show. I'm glad you're here. Oof. I don't know what I was thinking there. Clearly wasn't. Oh, I was really hoping Muggsy was just going to throw it down. Just like, you know, Michael Jordan style, his tongue hanging out, take off from the foul line. Jam. Alas. Massenberg. Nice. Because I almost blocked his shot. What? All right. Nice work, Tony. Nope. Three. Three. Yeah, it may be dumb as rocks, but when you can uh, get the ball movement working all right, it's so much more satisfying. Shoot it! <sighs> I don't know why they won't shoot. Why won't they shoot, Dortmunder? Why won't they shoot Spitz the Greatest? Why won't they shoot anyone who's lurking and not saying anything in the chat? Can anyone tell me? Because the AI is from 1996. It isn't so smart. A fair point. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm from the future. I brought back grand strategy. From modern times. Brought the 2010s warriors to dynasty level. Maybe it's too much for them. I mean, how would I prove I was from the future, anyway? It'd be like that scene in Back to the Future. Who's the president? Ronald Reagan? Who's vice president? Jerry Lewis? Three. He's hot. I'm going to mellow it up a little. Three. 
Did I break my fire? I'm going to be super meta. Who's president? Trump. I mean, Biff from Back to the Future. It is funny, right? You know, they, they modeled uh, Biff's look after Donald Trump from Back to the Future 2 when he was running things. Now here we are. Anyway, I don't want to make this too political. We're here to have fun. It's 1995. Bill Clinton's president. I voted today, on the other side, so it's probably why it's top of mind. Election day in Canada was a few weeks back, but uh, you know I'm still, just by running the Raptors, I, I'm still registered to vote in the U.S. That's where I did. In retrospect, what a weird question for Doc Brown to ask. Yeah, that is a good point. I mean, it was saying he came from 30 years in the future. Oh, Ruffin, come on, just shoot it. Yeah, Trevor Ruffin. No, oh, that is not the right button. Get that. All right. Now, will this count as an assist? Off the backboard assist, but I guess the world will never know. Rough and having a pretty good night. You can rest, but... Jimmy King, I'll have to run the numbers later. I feel like he might be having his best game as a small forward. Better than a shooting guard. But that could also be opportunity cost, right? I mean, our two best scorers are both shooting guards, so anytime King was on the court, that meant that they weren't. I was hoping contesting would be enough, and I was right. Shoot it, Damon. Not from there. No long twos. What do you think this is, 1995? <laughs> wow. Sometimes times they just give me an open lane is a little bit astonishing. All right, Rogers, take it home. Don't get a three-second violation, though, anybody. Okay. That's it. No. <laughs> Dope. Threw it into the back of Robert Parrish's leg. Doubled. Can I get it down into the paint? No. Trace Murray sitting down for probably the last time tonight. Okay, so up by 24 with a minute left, barring a incredible lapse of judgment on my part. Looks like we are going to be 6-0. and Of course, I said that against Phoenix, and now he does. 
Oh. Wonder if that counts as an incredible lapse of judgment. So you do that 12 more times, and then they will run out the clock, which is a perfectly logical thing to do when you're losing by that much. Just like putting up garbage time stupid three-point shots makes sense when you're winning by that much. Curry. It might be the last basket for the Hornets. Depends on if they give me a good shot or not. Oh, or if Glenn Rice just takes the ball away from me. Three at the buzzer. That's that. Good game. Thank you, Dortmunder. Thanks for watching. I'm really glad you guys are here. I really appreciate it. Tracy Murray, still lighting up. 58 points. Four steals, four boards. Still just that one lonely assist. I guess you're right. Maybe I'm a ball hog. Uh, he had a lower percentage of points. He had less than half of our team's points this time. Of course, he didn't play almost the whole game this time either. So. Fair enough. Players here. Dale Ellis, no slouch, 37. Ruffin had 9 again. He's here all with 8. 1 for 6 shooting, Damon Stoudemire. But you know, it's not always about the shooting. Some of Dale Ellis' best games, he had a really mediocre plus minus. So, he must just bring the tempo up when he's on the quarter. That audio, it's like it's coming from underwater. You're talking about the game music or, or my mic? Yeah, the game music. So, one of the ways in which I really miss the Genesis version is the... Uh, the music in the Genesis version is much, much, much better. And Damon Stoudemire leading our team in defensive rebounds. That makes a lot of sense. And three blocks for Stoudemire. Stoudemire has occasionally been on the league leaderboard for block shots. All five feet, ten inches of them. Although the SNES had the superior sound. But here's the thing. Um, I'm glad you brought this up. Um, the Super Nintendo's music was all uh, sample-based, whereas the Genesis had an actual uh, frequency, frequency modulator synthesizer chip built into it, like a real Yamaha synth. So when used correctly, the Genesis had much better sonic possibilities, uh, no pun intended. Um, but the problem was it was a real synthesizer, so people had to actually like understand how software synthesizers worked or i guess hardware synthesizers back at that point so um so yeah so that's why in general snes games sound better is just because they were easier to work with. which there is something to be said that's also why you get stuff like say toy jam and roll kind of it's just awesome all right i'm gonna i'm gonna actually look at the hornets too because there have been a couple times i've been wondering about game stats for our opponents. Curry with 22, Bogues with 22. Not as concerned, so flip through a little faster. Curry and Rice, both shooting some threes. I think, you know, 11 threes attempted might be more than like everybody put together in my games. Even Reggie Miller wasn't taking many when we played them. Go figure. So their stat lines look more normal. How many blocks did Muggsy have? One. Okay. Well, maybe not totally normal. Seven assists. Two fouls. Rafael Addison, Syracuse. Represent. Let's look at our shot chart. Not too shabby. I'll take that. Rogers only took one. 
bunch of Dillos. No shots for Oliver Miller tonight. Go figure. Massenberg, very consistent, looks like. Zero if you so. There we go. That's interesting. So I actually am shooting better than the AI. Of course, I guess I didn't take uh, that shot right there behind the backboard. So, you know. Congratulations, I'm smarter than the Super Nintendo. All right, Utah, let's see if they're still undefeated. They are, excellent. So are you going undefeated this season? I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, we definitely almost lost to the Suns last night. Um, I was still getting used to the player lock thing. I mean, we were also down by quite a bit in the first quarter. Um, I'm certainly gonna try. I mean, I think that's everybody's goal, right? 82 and 0. So far, it's looking pretty good. Like, we might actually be able to get there. Guess we'll find out. Field goal percentage, just ridiculous. Three point percentage. We are moving up the chart. Closing in on BJ Armstrong. Hubert Davis, uh, another future Raptor. Uh, Maybe near future, I suppose that's up to, uh, up to you all. 116 three-pointers attempted, Tracy Murray. 90 for Dale Ellis. I'd say that counts as a revolution. Yep, Damon Stoudemire back on the league leaderboard for block shots. Who says this isn't a realistic basketball simulation? Of course, a lot of our guys around the steals chart. I'd like to move up on the assists a little bit. You know, guys just run directly out of bounds. That does make that a bit of a challenge. All right, so as mentioned, and as you saw there, uh, tomorrow night's game will be against the uh, Utah Jazz. And then next week, uh, we'll be hosting the defending champion, Houston Rockets, Tracy Murray's former team. So thank you all so much for uh, checking it out. I hope you all have an excellent evening.